Recently, a lot of automakers have been getting more fuel-efficient vehicles because of raising gas prices. A lot of them have been doing things like electronic cars, but most people aren't prepared to plug their vehicles into the wall right now or buy any kind of weird equipment in order to get their car running. So what Mazda has done is basically build a more efficient, fuel-efficient car. And so one of the properties that Mazda is known for is the fun-to-drive vehicle. And so they wanted something fun to drive that's also going to be safe and economical, something that people will want and need. And so we have the Sky Active. It's a new, new technology, new design. It's a, still a 2.0 liter engine. You can get f up to 40 miles per gallon, depending upon your driving. Some people have even exceeded that, but if your foot is a little heavy, it might be a little less. But it's a two-port injection, and it comes standard with the, you can either get a six-speed automatic or a five-speed manual which allows for different people for different drivers and it still comes with all the fun features that you see that uh, normally come with Mazda. And some of the little things that you see a little different, like the front end design. Yeah. The face is a little bit more aggressive looking. It still has a little smile to it, but it's more of a smirk than a smile. <laughs> it shows that it's, it's, it means business. And the body's made of uh, carbon, extra carbon fiber in there, so it's about 220 pounds lighter. So that helps with the fuel efficiency. And so and you're still going to have all the standard features that normally come with the vehicle. You have the front, the front and uh, passenger airbags, the side curtain airbags, the unibody construction, everything that makes the vehicle strong and sturdy. And you still have all the monitoring systems in it, and there are various upgrades that you can add there, depending upon what you're looking for in this, the vehicle. But ultimately, it's still a fun car. It's something that stands out. When you, when you go down the road and you see it, you know that you're driving a Mazda. You know, it doesn't blend in with every other vehicle. It's something that is a little different. But the main thing that it's trying to do is to save gas, but not at the expense of your safety. And so that's why all the that's why all the technology in there is still made to be strong, something that you would want to drive, that you want to put your family members, and you'll be safe to, to your loved ones in there that you know they'll they're in a well constructed, well built vehicle that's gonna get good gas mileage and it's affordable for most everyone. As long as whether it's from the college student up until a grandma or grandpa, they'll be able to get into this vehicle, get all what they're looking for in it, everything they need, and uh, at the right price. And all the little comfort features in there, very spacious, very aggressive, clean, neat design. Everything at your fingertips that you want to, that you want to get to, you have all, you have your, uh, some models like with the Bluetooth, so that make sure that you're dependent upon the new laws and everything that's going on. You won't have to pick up your cell phone. You can sit there and you can talk through the phone, so long as you don't mind whoever's in the vehicle listening to your conversation. <laughs> and there's plenty of there's a four door, plenty of room. It's compact, but it's still roomy for some six footers to get in there. And of course, plenty of trunk space. You can go on any trips. You can throw a lot of things in there. You've got your bags, groceries, anything that you want to go do. You still have it. It's still. From that perspective, nothing has changed with Mazda. What has changed is basically it's stepped up. It's now an even better vehicle than it was before. And so if you were a prior Mazda owner, you're going to notice that this is something better. If you've never driven a Mazda before, what you're going to do is see, you're going to see a vehicle that's comparable to Nissan, Toyota, and other Japanese makers and models, but a little something extra. And such as retail value, it's a lot higher than those vehicles because Mazda makes a vehicle that's designed to last, not something that you're just gonna buy for the way you can pass it down from family member to family member. And because it's so safe, you know it'll be around for all that. So zoom, zoom, get yourself a Mazda. Great.